Good morning, friends. I can't believe that we're in the season of Epiphany. We sometimes call it in our church Epiphany Tide, which means the Sundays after the Sunday of Epiphany, where we are thinking about and celebrating that season that we're in. The color on your prayer table might need to change. We were in purple for Advent and then white for Christmas. Now we're moving into green, green for the growing time. Some of you might have, let's see if I have it in my box, a prayer cloth like this that we sent last summer. I can put that on my prayer table. Help us remember the season that we're coming into. What I wanted to do this week is remember a little bit one of the parables that we've talked about before, the parable of the mustard seed. I wonder if you remember that. Do you remember the mustard seeds in our atrium? They are so tiny that you could fit almost 20 on your fingertip. They're tiny, tiny seeds. And Jesus told this parable, a story to help his friends understand something. He told this parable that the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed and that though it is the smallest of all the seeds, when it grows, it becomes the greatest of shrubs and the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. I wonder what kind of branches do you think that birds like to use for their nests? I love birds. Did you know that about me? I love birds. And for Christmas this year, Father Preston got me a book that's all about birds. And it's really special. And on some of the pages, it talks about how birds build their nests. They spend a lot of time finding the mud and the sticks and the leaves and different kinds of birds like different materials to build their nests. So birds are actually pretty creative. It's just kind of special, isn't it? When I was thinking about the birds finding this tree, this mustard tree, to come and build a nest in its branches, I thought, I wonder how the bird feels when it sees this tree. I wonder how the bird knows that these are good branches to use to make its nest. Maybe you wonder about that too. Maybe we can wonder about that together. The kingdom of heaven, Jesus said, is like a mustard seed. As I'm recording this and listening outside, I can hear some rain. Maybe you can hear some rain where you are, or maybe even some snow. When the rain comes, it's one of the things that can help seeds to grow. Right? I'm sure a lot of you have been learning about this in school, or maybe you learn about it with your parents or through books, that one of the things seeds need to grow and become plants and flowers and trees or fruits or vegetables is water. They need rain. So I wonder, as we listen to the rain today, maybe we can be thinking about this mustard seed, this parable, and what it might mean. What, what we might think about when we think about the kingdom of heaven. On my prayer table today, I am going to put, I think, this prayer card. This one says, the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need front of my candles right there. I'm not going to light these candles today because I wanted to remember that the Lord gives us everything we need. And then in front of these two candles, I can put this. Then I have, let's see. I have two more candles. I can put right here so we could enjoy some candles together. 
Sometimes that's a nice thing to do, isn't it? very well. Let me try moving my candles back here first. While I'm lighting my candles, maybe this would be a chance for you. If you're watching at your house or you are with your parents, you guys could take some time to pray, to talk to God about what you're thankful for today, or maybe to talk about this parable of the mustard seed. Maybe we can ask God together, what, what are we learning about this parable? What can God show us? Let's sing one of our atrium songs. Here's one of my favorites. Every time I hear it, I am thankful for you. The Lord is my shepherd, I'll walk with him always. He knows me and he loves me, I'll walk with him always. Always, always, I'll walk with him always. Always, always, I'll walk with him always. Thank you, God, for the rain, for the birds of the air. Thank you, God, for the mustard seed and this parable for us to think about. Thank you, God, for all of my friends. I cannot wait to see you again soon.